this far in. Cherry blossom ice tea. Cherry blossom ice tea. Cherry blossom ice tea. We still got a lot to go through. The fight they were got to the 52. Here we go. And dinner with the whole gang. Let's do this. Obviously you are, baby. Beal, don't try to eat your plate. The food will be out soon. You're going to have to restrain yourself just a little longer, okay? Well, it sounds like you all had a rough experience, so I'm not surprised he's hungry. Looks like an early dinner was the right call. No, yeah. I'm su I'm supposed to it's my fault that this happened in the first place. What do you mean? Explains. Later. What? So, the competition at the casino was supposed to be a surprise for us? And you're the one who planned it? But then, a certain demons who don't think highly of the future demon king of Lord of the Seven Rulers of the Devil Dome took advantage of the situation, I see. The girly pop finally returns. <coughs> OMD! Like, well, they were way out of their depths, weren't they? I guess, like, no matter where you go, you're always fine idiots. The young master's magic was the source of the mascot's power since they were part of the surprise. I imagine that's why they were able to imprison you and interfere with your magic. Things that would be beyond your ability of any normal demon. It was meant to be a fun experience, but in the end, all it did was cause trouble for you. I was really worried, not gonna lie. You weren't the only one. I can't believe they disguised themselves as staff and tried to snuff us all out. Talk about an unhanded plot. Naturally, everyone responsible for manipulating the mascots have been turned over to security. I sure hope so! I mean, do you know how much gambling I missed out on when I was stuck in that cell? I could have won all kinds of money in that time! You better send them a bill! They owe me for that! No, you should be thanking them. You were- we would have lost so big you were swimming in depths by now. No doubt about it. You looking for a fight, or what? <sighs> Not that I was particularly worried for your safety, but even so, I do expect all of you to be at least a tiny bit shaken by of what happened. Clearly not. I gotta say, though, that last game really was something, huh? I mean, Macy and Belvy has crazy good luck! It's thanks to Belfi. I should be thanking you, Macy. After all, you sensed what I wanted to choose when you answered, didn't you? What happened was only possible because I was teamed up with you. What do you mean? You're telling me they didn't get uber mega lucky? You have no idea what's going on, didn't you? Mm-hmm. I figured. You worked it all out, hadn't you, Belfour? You knew what combinations of numbers and pattern was coming next. Yep, I managed to memorize the patterns while the mascots were demoing the game for me over and over. But they cheated, didn't they? And you still got it right! How were you able to manage that? Because... Even the way they cheated was tied into the pattern. Basically, I was able to work out how they were going to alter the outcome. Man, so you really didn't get uber mega lucky. Wow, that's amazing! Damn, reminded me to never go gambling against him. Never fear, your favorite mascots are here, just as you requested! Why am I using a little D voice? Blackjack doesn't sound like that. Boy. No one requested you! <gasps> That's mean! Are you trying to make us an enemy of the Great Three-Legged Crow group? 
just seeing their faces is enough to make me angry. Same, Satan. Same. That was a really unpleasant experience, y'all. Totally, like, I know when they were being controlled by someone else, but still, when I think about when they put us through, it's hard not to be angry. Yep, getting someone like you is hard, but getting on their bad side, it doesn't take much. And they are loud and crazy like the little these too, aren't they? Whoa. My, my, I have to say, I'm impressed you noticed your connection. Yes, we are actually used the little deeds as reference points to when bringing the mascots to life. Oh, okay, now it makes sense. Sure does. I was thinking they sort of resembled the little thieves too. Okay, moving on. Time for you to listen to what we have to say. You better, or there's no dinner for you. Come on, don't screw us now. Yeah. I'm not okay with that. Okay then, before eating, you gotta play a game of chance. Oh, oh no. And the outcome de determines what you're gonna eat. I like the sound of that. I'm not so sure about this time, Mamon. I'm gonna lower the volume a bit. The game is rock, paper, scissors. Where do it get the full course meal? And if it's I, you forfeit the meal. And if losers, we'll just do salad. We're playing rock, paper, scissors for a dinner? I suppose that qualifies as a game of chance, right? You think? Whatever, I'll do it. I can't afford to lose. Okay, everyone, let's get it. You'll be playing against the three of us. Macy, you're playing against me. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, and boom. I usually choose rock. Scissors! Oh, I lost! Yes! Congratulations, Macy! Looks like we're getting a full course meal! Dark sausage. Carol de Catastrophe. Death Parade Fish Penna. I apologize if I mispronounced the food again. Did you lose the match, Bill? Yep, Mama, let me have some of that. What the? Hey! What the? Damn it, Bill! I only got salad! Same as you! Womp womp. Hey, Beelzebub, this is really good. Want a bite? Mama, who said you could eat off my plate? Raphael. Oh, he's still here. You need more of just that salad. Here, why don't you have some of my... This food here that I don't know how to pronounce. Why, well, thick? No, wait just a second, Simeon. That's far too generous a portion. You left me with a hardly anything for yourself now. My, my, you seem to be displeased. May I ask what is wrong? If you all share with each other, then what's the point of the game? Right, what's the point, huh? Exactly, you're supposed to eat what you've won and not eat what you didn't. <laughs> well, what's the harm? As long as everyone has a good time, that is what matters. Diablo's right. Fun in Meow Cow! Hopefully. Alright, it is the moment you've been waiting for! Dessert! We're going to ask you some questions about dice, and if you answer correctly, you'll get to eat the special Meow Cow Pie! I think I've heard of those before. Apparently, you can win some sort of prize or something. If they find the prize, we might get another pie. Satan, I'm counting on you! So if you don't even plan on trying to answer for yourself, we already decide who's going to ask. Satan, is it allowed to answer? Yep, if someone else tries to answer, you'll be disqualified. Well, there you have it. Okay then, I'm counting on you, somebody. You haven't even considered that you might have been have to answer? Have you, Beale? All right, Lucifer, this question's for you. If you roll a seven dies all at once, what is the chance of any single outcome? One in 46,656. Correct! 
Whoa, you didn't even have to stop and think about it. Like, how did your brain even do that? The next question is for Mephistopheles. What is the expected value of a single roll of dice? That would be 3.5. Correct! Mephisto, nice going! Please, anyone would be able to work that out. Alright, last question, or should I say task, is for Lord Diablo. Explain how to calculate the chance of a dice landing on any one side, and do it in a way that everyone understands. Then even Mamon has to get it? That's way too hard. You hoping to get a close-up and personal with my fist, or what? Alright, let's see... Let us use the side of with six dots as an example. How do we figure out the chance of rolling a six? Well, the dots on your die goes from one up to a six. So there are six sides total. You know that, right? Yep. Six sides total when we want to just want one of those. So the chance of rolling a six would be... One in six! Correct! Even Luke managed to figure it out. Yeah, that was really easy to understand. That's very kind of you to say. Thank you. Everyone has answered correctly. Congratulations! I present to you a special meow cow pie. Smells so good. Oh, hey! Since we didn't get have to have fun during the afternoon, what do you say we head out, out of the town after finish eating? That sounds like something we can go with. Where should we go? Don't we have a map or something? Yep, I got a special map right here with all of the sacred otaku sites marked. That's one listed place you wanted to go, Levi. Besides the casino, Meow Cow is also famous for its shopping malls, theme parks, and much more, you know. If you'd like to take a stroll through the town, the three of us would be happy to show you around. Just leave everything to us. Yep, we'll show you all there is to see and more. We won't be needing you, thanks. Yep, I have had enough trouble. I don't want you guys getting us into more of it. You heard him. Go on, scram! That's not very nice to treat your favorite mascots. Well then, does everyone know where they like to go? Oh yeah, like, I'm going shopping, naturally. As if you ever need to ask. Me too! I'm heading to the theme park. Ooh, I wonder what sort of rides and stuff they'll have. <laughs> We're in Meow Cow, so you gotta go casino hopping. If you say casino on the front, I'm there. Oh man, I'm gonna win big! What about you, Macy? Uh, shopping with Asmal Chan in 13. Oh, the obvious choice. Let's go checking out the traditional Meow Cow clothing! I'm going to pick out something that will look amazing on you, Macy! Thank you! Aww. Look at that! That shop sells plushies you can only buy here! You can draw straws to determine what outfit you'll get, and I hear it's super popular! See that shady looking shop with the purple roof ahead? They sell these pillows apparently. If you sleep on them, you win more at gambling. Yeah. That variety shop is like over there. Looks like it sells good places to shop for items you use for my traps. See that thorny plant visible through the entrance? I heard they like to wrap themselves around anyone who gets too close. Hey, look at that! The, that traditional Meow Cow outfit over there! The red one! That would look totally great on me, don't you think? Did you see that magic goods store down the road? They have a lot of magical blind boxes. They can jure a spell, but if you don't know what to do with it until it actually goes off. 
Well, you're going to have a grand old time, aren't ya? Who this? Who is this? How to deal with trouble. Yeah, there's gonna be trouble ahead. I just know it. If it isn't the future Demon King's groupies, I'm about to wipe those mouths off your faces! Um, excuse me? Ugh, talk about lame. Listen, if you've got some problems with the future king, go take it somewhere else. I mean, I don't want to be part of your... Come here, you! Whoa! Uh -oh. What? Ah! Ah! Gah! Damn it! I'll get you for this! <laughs> wow, Macy, that was your magic just now? Oh my god, thanks! I really owe it to you! It looks like you did that with no incantation? Yep, we're getting pretty powerful. Uh, deciding prices by drawing straws have to be the best in the store in the stuff at rock, paper, scissors in order to make a purchase. Is it me or is everyone in the town a little too fond of gambling? Well, I guess I can sort of understand what Mama and, and the others find so appealing about it. After all, I was able to get my hands on some limited edition cosmetic thanks to this lucky roulette spin. Anyway, Levi, could you hold this for me too? Thanks. Duh, ah, it's duh. Oh, take this shopping bag as well if you don't mind. Ah! Leviathan, can you see in front of you? Just barely. What about you, Solomon? Same. I could still sort of see a little. Hang in there, both of you. You think Barbados would be mad if I summoned him here to help carry the stuff? He would, but he he would definitely be mad. That was quick. <laughs> Man, oh wit, did I win big! I wouldn't mind spending another whole mouth here the way things are going. Don't get too cocky or you'll live to regret it. Yeah, yeah, I know. Da! Mama, you moron! Don't bump it to me like that! Yikes! That has almost ended up very badly! Wow, you sure know how to carry a lot of stuff! Luke, thank you. Thank you for noticing. Do me a favor and tell Asmo and the others that they keep buying stuff. I can't help it! All of my gifts to bring back home are in there! Body Mist that helps me win lotteries, Lip Balm that also comes with a fortune! What about food? Don't worry, I picked up everything you asked for, including the Meow Cow Manju... Oi. Yes, and you made us carry it. Hmm. Okay, y'all, there's something I need to tell you. Huh? Where'd you get yourself into trouble gambling? Did you owe you some money? Please, that is you. Explains. Later. Wow, what's clear from that attack spell is that your magic powers has grown even greater, Macy. Hmm. Could I lose control over it? Will I have unlimited power? Gosh, I just got my powers back since the previous season. Will I lose it again? We can't rule out that possibility. If you have the surpluses of magical powers, it means you'll lead to some sort of magic sickness. Still, it's too early to say for sure whether this is good or bad. I'll try to be more careful when we train, but even so, the rest of you should make a point to keep this in mind for now on. Understood. Okay, I know this is important and all, but right now we have to discuss something even more important. Right, yeah, an in incredibly important matter. Something we absolutely can't forget. And what's that? We need to discuss our hotel rooms! That is not what I expected. 
And who's staying with who? That is not it. I can't believe that the first round of slots is what determines who will be in what room. I had no idea. Ugh. Well, I intend to spend the rest of the evening working out on my traps. Just make sure you do not disturb me. What's that plant you got there? It's a bomb flower. It may look cute, but touch it in the wrong way and it will stab you. Don't bring me something so dangerous into our room. Assuming it turns out well, I'll be willing to lend it to you. Well, as long as it doesn't cause any disturbances, I guess it's alright. You certainly you were quick to change your tone. I wonder who do you intend to use that on when you borrow it? Macy, if you're hungry, just say the word. I sort of already ate the Lucky 7 pizza, but there's still plenty of stuff left, including the crackers. Not the crackers. The crepes cakes in the photo finish rock chicken. Cakes and chicken? That's junk food, Bill. Not the sort of thing you would offer someone if they're actually hungry. It's okay, I can just finish whatever Macy doesn't eat. I guess you've got a point. I fail to see how that solves anything. What's up, Barbie? The best trips are also over too soon. I feel like it's still missing something. Your traps use the spinning disc from the money wheel machine, right? I think it's a good idea, personally. Ugh, but like, I feel like it needs an extra element. Something to make it more fun. Hmm, what if you run electricity through the wheel? Oh, nice idea, Macy! Like, that would be a great way to make a fool out of a certain sham of a sorcerer. Yeah. Hmm, let me see if I can just, uh, just attach this item to this point spot on this device. Okay, time to press the switch! Yikes! What's going on? Did something burn some fish or something? Let me guess, you messed up the trap you were making, didn't you, 13? Well, even in, fa in failure, it gets you one step closer to success. Didn't anyone even teach you, teach you that? You're free to fail as much as you want. However, I would appreciate it if you refrain from destroying the hotel room in the process. Fine by us. No, 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 no! I can't! I can't go home just yet! Don't be stupid. The town was reserved for us for three days and two nights, which means this is our last day. Damn it! If I'd known if I just run that last roulette when we'll spin, if only I had gotten them, I could have felt going home feeling real good. Let me guess, you lost everything, didn't you? All the money and all the more reason to get into this boat. Otherwise, you got no way home. Come, our ship is about to leave port. You best get on board right away. Damn it, damn it, damn it! I'll be back, you Harry. I'll get my revenge even if it's the last thing I do! Here, Lord Diablo, I brought along this demoness for all of us to share. Why don't we have a glass and forget all about what happened? Cheers. Yay. Cheers! Tell me, how did you like Meow Cow, everyone? Can't wait to go back. Macy, when did you get back so soon? Could you invite me along next time? Like, there are still so many interesting shops I'd like to check out. Oh, invite me too. There's still stuff from the Gamble Kitty I haven't managed to locate. Like the roadside trees. The roadside trees? Yeah. Don't worry about it, Simeon. It's just Levi's usual weirdness. That hurts! 
We had a whole town to ourselves. We enjoyed a luxury train on the way over, and now a luxury cruise on the way home. Really, you couldn't ask for anything more. I'm glad everyone here is so pleased with your trip. Yes, because you have the Rad Science Fair Devil Dome Math Finals when we have to get back. That's right. Who has the Rad Science Math Finals with? Is it Lucifer? No, it, it can't be. The finals? What about the preliminaries? Don't those come before the finals? We just received notifications for those in change, or those in charge. Remember that quiz that gave us the order to dinner? The one without the dice? You don't mean those were the preliminary rounds, were they? Honestly, there's no way of knowing when you will be able to choose the test for us, is there? Lucifer, there's actually a related matter that I'd like to discuss with you. Could you make some time in your schedule after we get back? Alright, sure. Darn, I should have known. <laughs> Looks like everyone has fallen asleep. I think I'll have a stroll. That totally will be... Um, why did the music stop? Oh, well, if it isn't Macy. Okay, thank goodness. It seems like your lantern magic powers has settled down again. Have you felt any difference since what happened the other day? Sorry for worrying. Yep. I only worry because you're important to me. There's no need to apologize. I just figured that I come here and enjoy the night breeze. I have a, to say, running into you like this is a pleasant surprise. I'll take it you can't sleep. In that case, would you mind staying out with me a little longer? Sure. You're too kind. I love to hear you talk about your time in Meow Cow, assuming you don't mind. Tell me what you found fun and what you thought was interesting. Anything that moved you in any way, I want to know about it. Sure do, Diablo. Sure do. I said it before and I said it again. I hope you guys once again enjoyed this video. And remember, for more future videos like these, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the Oga God of Phoenix YouTube channel. And also, don't forget to turn on the bell. Thanks again for watching. Until we meet again.